this material is um, from U.S. gypsum. It, one of the nice things is it, it, it's seemingly bulletproof, meaning it doesn't separate when you're mixing. It's not particularly hygroscopic and gets worse over time. It, just, it, it always seems to work. Um, it's a very fine plaster mixed with a polymer resin as a casting material. And um, this is, a, vi this is a, a similar one that's mixed with um, a cement. And then one of the big attractions of this is that it's self-drying, so that um, when you, um, the water you mix in actually just um, gets incorporated in a calcium carbonate structure, so, so it becomes part of it, so you, the water doesn't have to get dried out, it actually gets, gets incorporated in what you're assembling. And chemical change. Yep. And so you can, this is specced by weight if you want to do it precisely, but it's very accurate, it's very reliable to do it just by consistency. I'm going to make more than, a bit more than we need just so you can see what it looks like when you cast it. Um, you can just do it by consistency and there's a wide range of consistencies over which it um, reliably sets. Um, uh, the calcium carbonate is very environmentally friendly, it's used as a food additive. Um, so this is fine, but the only safety thing is you don't want to eat it because you don't want it to set in your body. <laughs> so eating it's not good. Um, but other, other than that, it, it's a very environmentally friendly material. Um, and so um, here, unlike this where I mixed it very carefully, here it's low enough um, viscosity, high enough, low enough viscosity that um, bubbles just come out of solution. So you don't have to do, mix this really carefully. It takes less water than you think. So I'm just going to add some water. And the, the consistency is like runny pudding or yogurt. Um. Um, pretty fast, so it's exothermic. This would probably set just fine, but I'm going to add a little bit more. It's a little bit too runny. Um, so this is exothermic. It releases heat when it sets. So after a half an hour, when we come back, the cup will be quite warm. And then once the cup, once it cools off, um, then it's done. So it's about 45 minutes. So after about an hour, it's fine. Um, it sets up against surfaces. So the free surfaces here won't look good but the surfaces against the mold will exactly reproduce the structure of the mold. So that's probably right, maybe just a tiny bit more. So it looks like kind of a yogurt or runny pudding. Too much water makes it weak. Um, if, it's, if it's way too much water, yeah. But it, it's very forgiving. There's a wide range um, you can do. In fact, I, I usually don't have faith, and I make it a little bit thicker to be sure. If you make it a little bit runnier, it does a better job of getting the bubbles out. Um, so now what I'm going to do is just tap it a little bit, gently stir it. And at this stage, the trick with the rubber, the trick was lots of mixing. Here, the trick is just a little patience. That if you watch the surface, you'll see bubbles, and then some more bubbles, and then some more bubbles. So I'm just going to tap it and gently stir it until I stop seeing bubbles. 